Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. It's 24-7 update Friday in the midst of our long Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Gorgeous today, but yeah, the weather's going to change in a big way in coming days. Let's start with the Alpha Skycam Network. That's the uh, Auburn Skycam. Early this morning, doing the update a little later than usual. Got a little bit of daylight out there, and you know what happens at that stadium tomorrow. Biggest football game of the year in our state. Uh, looks like it will be a cloudy day, breezy, a south wind at 10 to 20. Temperatures in the 60s, outside chance of a shower, but clearly the bulk of the rain comes in after the game is over. There's the trustful sky cam. Goodness, we had fun watching that thing last night when that store opened at 10 o'clock last night for those sales. Wow. <laughs> uh, follow my Twitter stream to see more about the madness of the shoppers and a look at downtown Fayette early this Friday morning looking uh, north. All right, uh, got that big trough in the southwest United States moving this way, but one more nice day, and we're starting off the day pretty cold. Those were early morning temperatures at about 5 o'clock, and uh, uh, Gadsden below freezing. They dropped down to 30. Uh, Anniston and Alexander City with mid-30s, but a nice warm-up today. We'll be in the upper 60s and around the nation. Temperatures, I would say, are seasonal early this morning. No extremely cold air, at least in the lower 48. There's our watch warning map. Not too many problems today. Some dense fog to the west of Alabama this morning and a high wind watch for parts of the high plains in advance of that new storm. And there's the rain for the next five days. Valid through Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting rain amounts of about one inch for much of our state. All right, let's talk about it. This is the 06 EGFS at noon today. Ridging here, trough to the west and beautiful. Bright, sunny weather with a high in the upper 60s. All right, tomorrow, there's your sharpening trough to the west. This is at noon tomorrow, and the surface low is located up around Milwaukee with the trailing front down into Arkansas. And uh, again, that would suggest the day will be mostly dry. But again, in that kind of warm air advection pattern, you might see a shower or two forming. The bulk of that comes in here tomorrow night and then Sunday. Big old trough axis beginning to move through. This is at midday, and the GFS is slower now, and I think that's the right solution. It's got the rain exiting the state at midday Sunday and much colder air moving in. But we all know that model madness is the story here. This is a lower confidence forecast. Let's go to the RPM. This is the higher resolution model. This is Saturday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, it's got the better rains around Memphis and not much happening here. So, you know, we're, we're – Fairly optimistic the Iron Bowl will not have any major issues, but again, you've got to mention some chance, just a small chance of a shower there in case something pops up, which it might. All right, this is after midnight tomorrow night. This is Sunday morning at 2 a.m., and that's when the most widespread rain should be coming through. This is 7 a.m. Sunday. Ooh, look at the blues up there. That's uh, snowed down into extreme northeast Alabama if the model is right, and that could very well happen. The, uh, but again, you know, it's... No big deal if it does. And then by 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon, we're cold. Uh, the uh, 540 line, that black line is down to Birmingham, and the rain is to the east. I think clouds will linger much of the day. I'm not so sure the sun comes out. It might, but I don't know. I'm sure not going to forecast that. And um, It's going to be a, a cold day. We could be in the 40s all day if the clouds hang tough. So the bulk of the rain coming in here tomorrow night, ending Sunday morning. Then we turn cold. Now, Monday, the GFS is progressive. It's got the axis of the trough east of here. And, uh, again, chances of snow flurries up around the Great Smokies around Gatlinburg. And Monday here would be kind of, I don't know, cold, a mix of sun and clouds with a high around 50. But hang on. The European is still cutting off that low. Uh, this is Monday at noon on the European, a radically different solution. Uh, it would be cold and wet with rain at times. And you can see that 540 circle off to the west. That's the upper low. All right, look, Tuesday, the GFS dry and warmer, bright, sunny weather. But the European says, no way, Ray. It's got that upper low right over us on Tuesday. It'll be cloudy and cold. Maybe some sprinkles or flurries on Tuesday if this is right. So you got the GFS that's sunny and warmer, the European that's cloudy, cold, and maybe wet. And I'm telling you, the European is a... Darn good medium-range model. I, I almost trust it more in the GFS. 
Uh, and then Wednesday, the, the GFS is dry and the European is dry. It kicks everything out. So uh, Monday and Tuesday, very much up in the air. We, we'll just kind of go with a blend and kind of cloudy-ish, mostly dry, slow warm-up. But again, watch for changes there. Here's Thursday of next week. Next front coming in in a week from today, Friday. Energy passing just east of the state, cold front uh, passing through. So some chance of rain toward the end of next week. But again, no severe weather, probably nothing heavy. All right, uh, we'll check the uh, 5th of December. Interesting setup there. Got kind of a cold trough over the east, energy coming through the southern stream. And hey, now if this were January or February, that might be kind of icy. But it's not. It's early December. That just looks wet. And on the end of the forecast, on the 10th of December, core of the westerlies up north, that looks dry, mild, and pleasant. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. And again, we're on the holiday schedule, just one of these a day. We'll go back to the two-a-days Monday of next week as we all kind of get back on a regular schedule. But I'll be working the TV side this evening, so if you're around here, catch us on the news. We've got football this afternoon, so our newscast will be on uh, tonight at 6 and 10 o'clock only. Thanks for watching. Have a great uh, weekend and God bless.